On June 25, 2022, the Padma Bridge, invested by Bangladesh and participated by China, was completed and open to traffic. It is currently the longest bridge in Bangladesh and one of the largest engineering projects ever undertaken in the country. It originally took a day to reach the other side, but now the time is shortened to 10 minutes, and the thousands of years of ferry on both sides of the Padma River will be completely ended. On that day, residents of the entire city spontaneously came to the scene to witness this historic moment. Local residents expressed their gratitude to China for helping them make dreams come true. Some residents were so excited that they knelt down and kissed the bridge deck to express their love and respect for the Padma Bridge. Why did they choose China to build the Padma Bridge? How did China solve the problems during its construction? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about today. First of all, I would like to briefly summarize the breakthrough highlights of this project. 1. IT is the longest bridge in length and span so far over the Ganges. 2. The bridge design is monsoon-resistant, earthquake-resistant, and scouring-resistant. 3. It is 150 meters long prefabricated steel truss members, combined with pre-stressed concrete deck. 4. The bridge pile is 122 meters long, which is the longest and deepest bridge pile foundation in the world. 5. It is a dual-purpose bridge for road and railway, including the upper two-way four-lane highway and the lower single-track freight railway. 6. Gas pipelines and optical fiber communication cables with a diameter of 750 mm are installed along the line. On the day of the official opening to traffic, motorcycles, cars and large trucks were waiting at the gate, and the drivers and passengers held up their mobile phones to record this great historic moment. The Padma Bridge is also called the Dream Bridge by the locals, and has even become a symbol of Bangladesh's pride. To commemorate the bridge, Bangladesh issued a commemorative banknote for the bridge. The front of it is the Padma Bridge and Bangladesh's founding president, Mujib Rahman, and his daughter and current prime minister, Sheikh Hasina, with the Padma Bridge on the back. The value is 100 taka and the circulation is 10 million, which shows the importance Bangladesh attaches to the Padma Bridge. At the inauguration ceremony of the bridge, the local government also specially organized an airshow which also included five Chinese fighter jets. The bridge has thus become a bridge of friendship connecting China and Bangladesh. People in Bangladesh also expressed their gratitude to China on the internet. But the higher the praise, the more difficult the project is. After China won the bid for the project, a company even threatened that China could not complete the task. They even offered to help China complete the project at five times the contract price. So how hard is it to build the Padma Bridge? The Padma Bridge is located on the Padma River, which originates from the southern foothills of the Himalayas and the Deccan Plain. It flows through India and is called the Ganges. After entering Bangladesh, it is renamed the Padma River. The Padma River divides Bangladesh into two parts, the southwest and the northeast. Although the straight-line distance is only a few kilometers, People living on both sides of the Padma can only rely on boats to cross the river, which usually takes one to three hours, and even seven or eight hours in the rainy season. In bad weather, shipwrecks occurred from time to time in the local area. Many residents have to come early in the morning to wait for the boat, and the ferry is still crowded with people. After getting off the boat, they have to take a taxi to travel. The Padma River has seriously hindered the communication on both sides of the river, and Bangladesh urgently needs a bridge to connect the two sides. As long as there is a bridge, it only takes 10 minutes to reach the other side. It's just that the Padma Bridge is too difficult to build. In fact, the Padma Bridge project has attracted 24 countries with rich infrastructure experience, including the United States, Japan, Germany, and China. Countries have sent engineers to investigate around the Padma Bridge, but the results of the inspection made every engineer shake his head, saying that it was too difficult, and in the end only China chose to stay. There are six major difficulties in building the Padma Bridge. The first problem is that the design mode of the bridge is different from that of China, and the requirements of world-class supervision units are more stringent. 
But China has not only gained recognition from global experts in terms of technology, but has even incorporated Chinese standards into new international standards for infrastructure construction. The second problem is that the riverbed is too soft to build a bridge. There are two solutions to this problem. One is to drive the pile foundation deep enough that the bridge can be built as long as it is driven into the bedrock at the bottom. However, the silt in the Padma riverbed is too deep, and the rocks are buried more than 8 kilometers deep, which means that no matter how deep it is, the bedrock below cannot be touched. Faced with this problem, China has come up with two methods. One is to use the large diameter steel slanting pile insertion technology in the construction of the Padma Bridge. This is the first time that China has used such a technology. After 18 months of continuous pile testing experiments, the technology has been successfully mastered and the construction standards have been met. Another method is to set a soil plug at the bottom of the pile while the engineers are driving the steel pipe pile into the bottom of the river. The soil plug, concrete and steel pipe pile are used to form a closed structure. A miniature bearing platform that can bear a certain pressure of the bridge is manufactured, so that whether the bridge faces floods or hurricanes, these steel pipe piles will be firmly inserted into the bottom of the river, and this technology is also original in China. Not only these, in order to firmly drive these bridge pile foundations to the bottom of the river, China has spent a huge sum of 100 million to build the world's largest hydraulic hammer. The purpose is to perfectly fix these more than 300 huge pile foundations on the bottom of the river, making the foundation of the bridge more reliable. The third problem is the girder. The main bridge of the Padma Bridge is a 150-meter span steel truss girder structure, and the whole hole weighs 3,200 tons. In order to complete the task of erecting beams, China adopted the independently developed Tian No. 1, and its lifting capacity reached 3,600 tons. The fourth problem is the lack of resources in Bangladesh. The materials and equipment needed for the project need to be transported from China, which makes it very difficult to organize resources. The fifth difficulty is language. The Padma Bridge employs at least 50,000 people, most of whom are Bangladeshis. Language communication and cultural differences have also added a lot of difficulties to the project. The sixth difficulty is the epidemic. The epidemic has caused many projects to stop working and many supply chains are blocked. In order to solve this problem, the local project team has formulated detailed prevention and control measures and emergency plans, and also implemented closed management. The project department is strictly prohibited, and non-essential contact between project staff and the outside world is strictly prohibited. Besides, when there is a shortage of masks in Bangladesh, the project team also urgently purchased more than 500,000 medical surgical masks from China to ensure the normal completion of the project. All in all, the completion of the Padma Bridge will greatly increase the trade volume in the surrounding area bringing about 1.5% GDP growth in Bangladesh every year, benefiting nearly half of the Bangladeshi people. Well, thanks for listening. See you next time.